Amir Wais Azizi, during his trip to Herat province, Afghanistan, to inaugurate the town he built for the victims of the Herat earthquake. And during the opening of that town, Mir Wais Aziz said that I promise the people of my country that I will always be with my compatriots in difficult economic conditions. I intend to make an investment worth $10 billion in the next five years from Azizi's company. This investment will mainly be concentrated in the energy and transmission sectors. In the energy sector, the production of 5,000 to 6,000 megawatts of electricity, and in the transmission sector, the development of railways in order to encourage trade and economic activity are among the main goals of my capital plan in five years. It will be the future. The mentioned program has created a job for more than 100,000 Afghans, and millions of Afghans will indirectly benefit from its benefits. It is planned that our specialized teams will travel to Afghanistan in the near future, and regarding the negotiation goals, consult and exchange opinions with the competent authorities so that necessary measures are taken in line with the planning for the mentioned goals. Azizi Foundation says that it has built a settlement with 220 houses for Herat earthquake victims and put it into operation. This town was built in Sayyab village of Zindajan district of Herat with a cost of 200 million Afghani. The keys of the built houses have been entrusted to the new owners by Mirwais Azizi, the head of the Azizi Foundation. It is said that the delivered houses are built in ready-made and basic form with all its accessories. It should be mentioned that a clinic, school, playground, and water supply system have been built for this town. This is despite the fact that the Herat earthquake three months ago caused huge casualties and damages to the residents of this province. Taliban spokesman Zabihullah Mujahid confirmed Azizi's unprecedented investment in Afghanistan. Zabihullah Mujahid said, Miravis Azizi, a national businessman, has announced a big investment for the citizens of the country and says that in the near future, he will invest $10 billion in the construction of railways and electricity. Azizi announced the investment of $10 billion while millions of Afghan citizens are struggling with widespread poverty and unemployment after the Taliban regained power. Mirwais Azizi is an Afghan businessman living in Dubai. He is the founder and chairman of the Azizi Group of Companies, which he established in 1989 with presence in real estate, banking, investment, and hospitality. He is the chairman of Azizi Bank, Afghanistan's largest commercial bank, which he founded in 2006 with a capital of $7.5 million, and since then, its capital has reached billions of dollars. In 2018, his name was included in the list of 100 inspiring leaders in the Middle East in the Arab Business Magazine. Many Afghans consider him the richest man in Afghanistan and the one who, according to the Asia Sentinel website, controls more than 70% of the oil products sold in Afghanistan. In 2010, WikiLeaks claimed that he is probably the richest man in Afghanistan. He was born in a Pashtun family in Lagman province of Afghanistan. He graduated in law from Kabul University and left Afghanistan in 1988. In 2007, he founded Av Azizi Development. In 2006, he founded Azizi Bank, which is now the largest commercial financial institution in Afghanistan. He also bought Bakhtar Bank, now called Islamic Bank of Afghanistan, one of the fastest growing banks in Afghanistan. Azizi Development started selling off-plan properties in Dubai until the global financial crisis hit. Most of the buyers were unable to make the rest of their payments, and Azizi ordered that their deposits be returned. In 2013, Azizi Development resumed building projects. Currently, the company has more than 200 projects, which are in various stages of development, and a portfolio in Dubai, which is estimated to be worth more than 45 billion UAE dirhams. Azizi Hotek Group's oil company, which started with an initial capital of $80 million, operates in 10 countries around the world. Mirwais Azizi is going to connect Afghanistan's railway from east to west. It was in 2020 that Iran and Afghanistan opened the first cross-border railway link between the two countries. The work on this 225 kilometers railway line started in 2007. This $75 million railway was financed by Iran as part of the development aid to Afghanistan. Since Iran's trade with Afghanistan is growing, 
Since 2017, Tehran has replaced Pakistan as Afghanistan's largest trading partner. The improvement of land connections, such as the Dalaram Zaranj Highway, built by India or the Route 606 connecting Afghan cities, through the Garland Highway to the Iranian border, has facilitated the growth of this trade. Analysts also believe that the five-nation rail corridor project will face fierce competition from the Middle Corridor Rail Network, which instead of going through Iran and Afghanistan, will go to China from Turkey, the South Caucasus, and Central Asia. As mentioned, the five-nation railway corridor strengthens the capacity of travel and transportation of goods between the member countries and strengthens their economies, but it also gives the landlocked countries of Central Asia access to the Persian Gulf and the Sea of Oman. For Central Asian countries, this will be a shorter and cheaper route than a route like the Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Iran rail corridor. In the past, weak bilateral relations between Central Asian countries, low level of regional integration, and inefficient border transit have been obstacles to intra-regional and inter-regional trade. The said railway will reduce their dependence on Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan as well as Russia. While trade between Herat and Kawaf itself could help Herat emerge as a commercial hub, if the five-country rail corridor project were to take off, the city could become a regional hub for trade and goods transit, become China, Central Asia, or Iran. Afghan analysts say that this city can become Iran's gateway to Central Asia or Central Asia's gateway to Iran. In connection with Iran, the development of this project is part of Iran's larger strategy in Afghanistan. Tehran is eager to create more jobs and reduce poverty in Western Afghanistan in order to reduce immigrants to Iran. In this regard, communication projects such as Kawaf Herat Railway and Chabahar Zahedan Mashhad Railway will improve economic development in the eastern provinces of Sistan and Baluchistan, South Khorasan, Razavi Khorasan, and Kerman. Thank you for watching.